What is going on guys? We are back with another video today and I can't help but laugh because thinking about this title, thinking about the 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 audacity, I wouldn't even say the audacity, but the ridiculousness of this, but also I wouldn't say realistic because it's just not, it's not going to happen, but also not crazy scenario of Terrell Owens playing for Tampa Bay is just it's something. But I will say if anyone's been following, you know, any of the the top end receivers like you know guys like Tyreek Hill and all that they've practiced you know they've learned from T.O. the man can still kind of move I'm just gonna be honest he's got the size I think the main importance for even though he's nearing 50 for a guy to come back uh, after being so old for one and two you know leaving for so long I think specifically it matters the position uh, a wide receiver or a tight end coming back I think if they're massive, I think there's a bit of a case to be made. Whereas if it's a smaller guy, they obviously have to completely rely on the uh, you know the speed. But a bigger guy, he might be able to give you a couple of solid games. And the reason why I actually did this, even though I usually try to avoid as many of these kind of wild ones as possible, is because of what how bad the receiving group or the wide receiving group specifically is for Tampa. And the fact that their biggest issue is drops, I was like, you know what? You can call it crazy, but I can't really say Terrell Owens makes that receiving group worse. In the slightest, his knowledge is valuable enough. The fact that, I don't know if he's just chooses not to be, but like him not being a wide receivers coach seems a little odd to me. I, I'm, I'm really surprised, but... Regardless, we're going to take a look first at what happens to Tampa Bay without Terrell Owens, which I imagine will be utter disaster. There's just no chance without Terrell Owens they're going to do anything. But, of course, you could see uh, Mike Evans with Johnson as the number two, and then Scotty as the uh, number three, a guy that will need to step up big time for them at the wide receiver position. The thing is, though, with Tampa, I'm not going to feel sorry for Brady because even with some of these injuries, the AB situation – he still has a better talent squad, specifically when you consider the offensive line, than like 90% of the league. You know, it's it's really unfair that it's just like, oh, well, blah, blah, blah. I mean, you compare, obviously, Devontae Adams is otherworldly compared to Mike Evans, um, but Gronk is way better than anyone on Green Bay's side for wide receiver or for tight end. Uh, I know MVS is decent and Lazard's kind of breaking out, but... Lazard really is kind of like that Terrell Owens guy. I know he's he's a bit faster, but Lazard really is a stiff, slow receiver. There's no doubt about it. He's just really good at blocking as well, which makes him very uh, valuable to the scheme. But this Buccaneers team isn't that bad. So I'm not going to feel bad for him, but it would definitely help if they had anyone halfway decent at number two, specifically, once again, a bigger body target. Uh, and that's where, obviously, we're going to see what's going to happen with Terrell Owens. This could be the biggest joke in the world. But let's see. I think Philadelphia in our Madden Sim video actually won. So let's see what happened or what happens. And I'm I'm just saying, I am just saying here that they lose. I'm just, okay, here's the thing. If this happens in real life, boy, would everyone be happy. But... I'm not saying the NFL is rigged, all right? But it's just a simple fact that there is two things in the NFL that we can guarantee. People want to see the Cowboys lose, and people want to see Brady lose. It's great for ratings. I'm sorry, Brady fans. I'm sorry, Cowboys fans. The stats are there. Tyler Johnson actually kind of played well, 5 for 76. Uh, it seems like kind of some of the other guys were kind of the issue. But, yeah, really just didn't have the touchdowns maybe drops I don't know they the drops don't really show up too well in the game yeah I, or just at all apparently did they just remove that stack completely I mean it was misleading as hell anyways it was very inaccurate but did they just like say no we're not gonna have that in, at all and I swear it's still in the game no did they just not show it there I swear it's still in the game it's not really I mean they have it on defense it's called pass deflections <laughs> kind of. I mean, a lot of people do just they do go for the pick and they just miss it. But I guess while we're here and while we're trying to get the video to like eight or ten minutes, I'm just joking. Uh, we'll take a look at who's in the Super Bowl. The Patriots and the Niners definitely 
I mean, if you had this as your Super Bowl with the results, even if you bet it right before the wild card game started, you would still make a significant amount of money, I'd imagine, right? But if you did it before the season started, if you bet a lot, if you bet like ten bucks, you probably bought a house, right? I'd imagine. Like it's very unlikely, but who knows? Like I said, the Niners are easily the biggest dark horse, and the Patriots have a very good defense. Okay, now you could say what you want. But I absolutely will be going in this game to watch the sim because I do want to try or wa- at least watch a player or two with Terrell Owens out there. He actually has an upgrade point, which makes zero sense. 66,000 XP. Hell of a freaking uh, game he must have had or, or uh, talk with the owner that gave him XP like that. But he's a 74 overall. There's going to be people that are going to be so mad at his ratings. You're like, he's so overrated. It's like, I don't know. I feel like he's fair. I've, like I said, I've watched some of his training. I know that it's like completely different. It's not against pro level people, but like even like average high school, you know, recruits or whatever. I mean, he's torching people that are like half of his age. So these are his ratings. That's actually his age, which is still way below. I also put him at 224 pounds, but I guess not. I'll change that real quick. But this is what I gave him. Yell at me all you want. I don't think it's that crazy. 84 speed, 82 excel. Maybe the round running's a little off. I'll, I'll Should I lower it a little bit? I mean, I don't hate it. I absolutely don't hate it. I think it's fair. Give him all the traits. Uh, maybe run after the catch wouldn't be a thing. Like I said, I think the main thing you'd be getting out of T.O. is A, the knowledge and be the uh, the possession to be able you know to be able to catch the ball. Real question is how would his body react to being hit? Will it really matter, though? Because even though he's older, he's still a big guy. So people don't want to just hit a big guy, right? You know, you'd kind of rather just, like, not hit into a brick wall, you know? He's in insane shape for his age. I'm okay with those ratings. Like I said, maybe the round running a little bit higher, but the athleticism, 84 speed, 82 excel, I think is fair for him. Maybe drop it a little bit, but overall, he's still only a 74 overall. Don't be mad at me. Be mad at the game. I, I The game didn't do anything wrong. Uh, and I was going to do this for Eric Weddle, but the uh, active roster for some reason, when I go to active, it didn't have him on there. I'm not sure why, but it just didn't. Even though it's, it's he's there. I looked at him. He's like a 72 overall, but he just wasn't there. He's a safety that's like triple backup. Like, I don't even know what they're trying to get on. Like, what are they even going to get from him? Like, he's going to play like, sub linebacker at times and just teach people I guess I don't know but we're gonna go in against these Eagles and we are going to I just want to see him like run a route you know I just want to see because that's some slowness you know there's there's some lacking of speed there also do they have the time wrong because isn't it isn't it a 12 o'clock game I thought it was a 12 o'clock game no I, I'm sure all right the moment of truth let's see it and wait why is Terrell like the main guy Okay, dude. Are we really going to have him going out that deep? Oh, boy. He's slow. Oh, my God. Wait, who the hell was the quarterback? Was that not left-handed? I'm going to have to restart the sim. I swear to God, that was a left-handed player, no? I'm so confused. When I released it, it felt left-handed. Oh, uh, it's just because, like, as soon he, like, threw a no look. Is that Brady's game? Okay. Well, I can tell you the chemistry's off already. I can also tell you that uh, Terrell Owens is extremely slow. I'll give him another chance, though. We'll, we'll make him go a little bit deeper here. Let's see. You know, this is this is about as far as I'd want Terrell Owens going. And he catches it. I mean, did he catch the ball or did he catch the ball? So I backed out after that. Uh, I threw a second pick. Uh, Terrell Owens can catch, but uh, boy, is he slow. It's all solved here, though, if they win. I'm just saying. I'm d I've am i done three Sims now. The Buccaneers, in that video we did where Madden guesses who wins, the Buccaneers lost. It was pretty significant, if I'm not mistaken, as well. We just lost a second ago without uh, Terrell Owens. And now one Sim with him, out of three total, they move on? I mean, do, I mean, do you really want... The truth, the truth is that Terrell Owens is just a god still. 49 yards, of course, he didn't, you know, I don't know what the yards after the catch were, but it, it should have been like two, maybe. 
<laughs> I, I don't know. I, I I wouldn't be able to tell you, but here we are. I mean, here we are. Going up against Arizona now. Can they do it? They, I mean, they win again. The Super Bowl is against the Chiefs. We'll take a look at this performance as well, because why wouldn't you? I'm just saying, dude. Like, do I, I mean, you know, would you Green Bay lose in the divisional against the Packers? I mean, possible. I, I don't know, but Tom Brady, pretty good stuff. Uh, Terrell Owens, really good numbers again. Scotty Miller, a little bit better, but crazy. Mike Evans is probably getting double teamed at this rate, but I mean, maybe double team Terrell Owens. 250 yards, what, two, three touchdowns already? I'm just saying. He, he's, he'll get you a couple of games, and this is the last game. It's the only one that matters, and they lose anyway, so it means nothing. But boy, would that be a crazy, like, story for Terrell Owens. That would be insane, but 17 to 21. And do you guys say Terrell Owens? I always said Terrell, but I'm pretty sure that maybe he went by Terrell. I don't know, but six for 107 with two touch. I mean, what do you want? What do you, and I, I definitely forgot to do uh 224, but obviously he's still a God anyways. Uh, I don't know what you want from me. Silly, wacky video, but kind of worked. I don't know what to tell you. Anyways, if you somehow enjoyed this nightmare, maybe leave a like and subscribe. Uh, what do you guys think? If there was a player that could come back, I know there's a lot that are kind of young still that could come back, but who would you want to see the most? And who do you think who's you know kind of on the older side could? Obviously for me, well, maybe not obviously, but one of the guys I would love to see back is Jordy Nelson, of course. And also Doug Baldwin. Doug Baldwin would be sick to see. Why did he, was he like a preventative kind of situation? I'm not sure, but Doug Baldwin and Jordy, probably the most likely to do all right coming back, but they're also not crazy old. Maybe Randy Moss would be cool. Uh, Ocho Cinco, I don't know, but <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much that. We'll have a, the, what is it called? The championship round of the Miami Dolphins franchise. A little bit later today, and once again, another, well, I wouldn't say another, because last game was a little bit of a, uh, you know, I wouldn't say blowout, but it was a higher scoring game for us. This one is a very close one, comes down to the wire, so you don't want to miss that. And yeah, like I said, uh, maybe in the community tab, I'm not 100% sure if I'll be streaming tonight, because tonight's game for playoff football is probably going to be a lot better than Sunday's, so I might just chill and watch that, and then stream at 10 on, you know, tomorrow uh, but yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys come back for the next video, but until the next video, see ya.